Divine Bow Beginnings 93. If you are new, welcome to my channel. We are the DBB 93 Squad. I would like to thank all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, for coming back, watching videos, and giving me thumbs up. If you give me thumbs up, if not, I still thank you for just watching the video. This will be our angel message for July 6th. We're going to let whatever falls out, fall out. And let's go with it. Let's keep this in mind. Let's think about this as we go through our day. Remember, you can come back to these videos throughout the week. Because they may resonate on a different day other than on the 6th. So, three cards fell out. The first one is Desiree. No conditions aren't favorable, favorable right now. Wait. Or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Archangel Urel. Your emotions are healing which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So, Let's get into this just a little bit, right? I feel like some of you are about to go through this period of communication, right? You could be disconnected to someone that you care about. And with that being said, you have to be able to, to communicate effectively. You have to be able to forgive them for what they've done and what you've done because it's a two-way street and to allow this healing process to help you both come to a better state. I'm going to get a few cards. Someone purposely started this confusion. Okay, it is not the 4th of July and people still want to let firecrackers go. All right, but someone... Now, it... okay, I'm getting two things. Someone purposely started this confusion. Someone started this confusion because they're so used to be left alone. And then others started this confusion to go about and do whatever they wanted to do. Someone could have been juggling more than one person. More than two, more than three. In their hand, they have five people. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they were hopping around with different people. Some of them were. But I feel like this person had everyone emotions, everyone worries, everyone that they were dealing with energy weighing them down. It's like they're taking care of putting these people off and getting them off of their back. So when they come back, they can come back to you or to a sorts and basically make a decision because the two of sorts in this deck is someone that's blindfolded, someone that has to make a decision, someone that's indecisive. This could be disconnection and communication too. So someone is weighing up the communication. Weighing up if they're going to take that step or how to take that step.
I just want to get a few more cards because I really don't want to leave it on that. So someone is looking on taking that step with this empress. You don't have to be a woman to embody the empress. You can definitely be a male, but it's the energy of the empress. I feel like someone is definitely trying to come in. Someone has gotten rid of that old baggage and is ready to move forward towards you. We have communication, action, but definitely someone is going to be cutting something out of their life, cutting someone or something off completely to move forward. If it was this situation, it could be you cutting this off. It could be them, but I feel like if the person wasn't real with you or they were lying and you found out some things, you're ready to walk away. Queen of Pentacles. Someone was emotional about material things. This could be you getting your stability together. Because once all this go about, you have action. It's a wands. Someone could be trying to get a business together. Whatever they harvest is coming about, which helps them move forward into this union to cut out the karmic debt. You have the Page of Pinnacle. Again, this person could have been focused on working. I feel like their mindset was definitely focused on bringing this together. But they didn't have the means to do as they wanted to. But now it's time for them to take this leap of faith. And then the last card we have is the devil. Someone was so codependent on material things. Someone could have been indulging in alcohol and things that wasn't of their highest good. Someone could have started this situation as being manipulative and actually fail for you, which shook everything up, which made them feel like they had to get their SHIT together completely. At the bottom of the deck, you got communication coming in about the situation. The King of Swords. Someone is definitely sharp at the mouth. Their tongue is a sword. Okay. This also could mean someone is in sexual frustration. Or someone's coming in just for this sexual encounter. Just to walk out and leave. But for most of you... The devil is here because this person was able to detach themselves from this situation emotionally because they're emotionally disconnected. We have the nine of swords. They're in their head about bringing this together. They know what to do to get their ten of cups. They have to communicate. It's victory with communication. Communicating effectively is the key. 
Setting boundaries is the key. Someone is getting out of this devil energy of being in their head. So they can come into this wish fulfillment. You could be getting wish fulfillment from a few different things right now. Like money wise and things are going in your way. Things are happening positive for you. I feel like this person is going through that right now. Positive things are happening but they're missing their empress. They feel like. Let me say this. It's not a sad feeling that they have, but they feel like they let you down. They feel like without you, this ship cannot sail. So they're ready to make an end to this hurt, to this pain, and present you with this cup, with this communication. It takes patience. This communication is coming into this Queen of Cups. I don't feel like I got to pull any more cards. I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it right here. Thank you, DBB93 Squad. I will see you guys in the next readings. I hope you enjoyed this reading.